the 2022 i500 is about to start there's nothing like it in the world and we are here to experience it let's go The I-500 is the largest race of its kind. 500 laps on a one mile ice oval meant to test the teams, machines, and the racers who dare to ride. Pre-race, the energy is that of preparation, respect, and competition. Number seven KMW racing team sits at pole position and the unknown outcome will be decided in eight hours. changes all the conditions for the drivers. It's gonna be a lot more dust and a lot more times they need to plow the track. So we'll see if this keeps up. There's a lot of repairs going on right now in the pits. Mid-race, a lot of adjustments or just straight up repairs from all the damage that these sleds take throughout the race. There are quite a few teams that are out, like not just in the pits working, but like sleds put away. So I don't know how many are, are left out there right now, but uh, last I heard there were 10 on the lead lap. I can't think of a better way to explain how much this race means to this community by showing what we saw last night of one of the original members of the I-500 committee being recognized for his work. Check this out. The story goes that a few people in a diner dripped the plans for the race on a napkin and two years later the green flag dropped on the inaugural I-500. And while that may be true, it's people like Frank Talentino, one of the founding members of the I-500, who made that possible. In 2022, we recognize Frank for his contributions to the race because without him and the thousands of volunteers throughout the years like him, this race would not be possible. It was the, the effort of the whole, the whole area. That's pretty much all I got to say. <laughs> This truly is a generational race with all the volunteers, all of the pit crew, all the people that put this on to make this thing happen. And now you have people that are here as the grandkids of the grandkids making this race happen. It's really special. So I think it's time to go into the campground. Look at that, it's getting hot out. This is a great spot to watch from. These rigs that are here are just incredible. I'm up here on the school bus watching the race. There's 75 laps to go and the remaining racers that are on the lead lap are battling it out for the checkered flag. So we're gonna go down and watch the rest of the race and share it with you. crashes like that but he ran off the track under his own power no matter what injuries he sustained he's gonna be sore tomorrow yeah the race started now eight hours ago and we're down to the last 10 to 15 laps we'll see who wins this thing <laughs>